geologically speaking, Cade's Cove is a finster, which comes from the German word for window, and it really is. Should you stand atop the mountains surrounding the cove, you would be looking down across older rock to see younger rock. The cove floor is underlain by limestone, which is younger than the sandstone mountains that surround it on both sides. Millions of years ago, when the continent of Pangaea was coming together, the continent we now call Africa crashed into the continent we now call North America. The mountains that you see to the south of Cades Cove used to sit roughly 15 miles to the southeast. During that collision, they rode the Great Smoky Mountains fault line up and over a shallow sea that sat at this location. That would have completely covered this valley with mountains. The rock that formed the center of this valley was a rock called phyllite. You may have noticed the cliffs of shiny rock as you drove into the cove today. That is exposed phyllite. It is a very soft, easily eroded rock, and over the millions of years that this valley has existed, the phyllite has slowly eroded away, exposing the younger limestone sitting underneath the older sandstone. And it is this older rock that now makes up the crest of the Smoky Mountains to the south, and Rich Mountain to the north. Rain and snow continue to erode the valley and have created another unique feature, caves. Stop by Gregory Cave to learn more about the geology of the cove.